Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is a Final Cut Pro 10 or Final Cut Pro X tutorial. And what we're going to do is show you how to import media into Final Cut. So first thing you want to do is actually open up Final Cut. And what we're going to do is go into a library that we don't have any projects or, or any media in. And the first thing I want to do is actually show you the multiple places where you can actually import your media. So first things first, using the icon with the down arrow here on the left side, you can actually import your media that way by clicking on that icon. And you'll be prompted with multiple locations. I have a SD card from my Panasonic G7 here. I have the Mac mini hard drive. I have the desktop. And then I have, of course, my home. So let's go ahead and start with this memory card. And I have one video in here just for this. So what I'm going to do is select on that video here, and I'm going to click Import All. Though, if you wanted to, you could take a segment of the video to save space in your hard drive and just grab whatever you wanted. So we could do that as well. Okay. So actually, let's do that. Let's just pull in a little teeny segment here. And I'm going to leave all the options default, because I just like the way they are. There's no reason for me to get into it any other fanciness here. We're trying to keep it simple. We're beginners at this Final Cut Pro 10 thing, so let's keep it simple, stupid. Okay, so now we have that piece of video here, and we have a pop-up that told us that. Okay, another way is to actually go into the File menu here, and you're gonna go ahead, Import Media. This time, I'll go to the desktop here, and actually go into a Videos folder, and I think I got a little bit of Cars and Coffee stuff here. Actually, let me expand this folder and just grab um, a little bit of footage here. How about, yeah, that, we'll do that. This time we're gonna import the whole clip, so let's go ahead and do that. You'll notice that we're starting to have a little bit of media here. Okay, so we had file import media right here. We've used this icon here. Now, if you wanna go old school, we can just, Grab any piece of media here and just let me find something small. I don't want something too big. Uh, that's probably, it's probably, whoa. Let's just grab this and we'll just drag it and drop it right in there. Same thing, it's in our media library now. Okay. So with the new Photos app down here, the Photos app right here, the it's kind of tricky to figure out where, where these stupid things are stored at, but basically, in Final Cut, you go to the camera right here, you click on that camera, and then you finally have access to that photos. Yeah, so you can actually import what you're gonna import. And what you do is just drag it over, or you can actually drag it into the timeline too, but let's just keep everything in the library right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a video here. I'm gonna set. 1080p, 1920, 30 frames per second, and we'll call this uh, import media project. Okay, let's go ahead and open up that. Now we have a fresh movie or project, and we have some media to mess around with. So these are all video clips, but you can do the same thing with images or with sound. So let me go ahead and actually import some sound here that I downloaded. Go to Eric Timmer, downloaded a little bit of sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and import selected. And you'll see sound kind of appear as its waveform here. Okay, and same thing with images. I'll go over here to images. And you can use the same identical ways. The file menu, import media. The button here for importing media, finding it on your desktop. Go ahead and cancel that. Or you can just, again, go old school and just drag that bugger into the media library. So that's how you actually import media into Final Cut Pro. And I think we're gonna end that tutorial right here. This is going to be the beginning of many, many, many Final Cut Pro 10 or Final Cut Pro X tutorials that I'm gonna do on this channel similar to the ones I did for the iMovie for beginners. I'm gonna do everything that I can think of to get somebody who's never used the program up to speed pretty quickly. 
So I'll go ahead and make a playlist once I get enough videos, but subscribe to the channel and you'll definitely get everything that comes out. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget peace and a whole bunch of aloha spread out around the world. We need a lot more peace and aloha.